Hallo liebe Leute, ich bin heute hier mit Will Evans, dem Entwickler, einem der Entwickler von äh, Lego Marvel Avengers, der uns das Spiel heute zeigen wird. Er spielt, ich werde ein bisschen mit ihm plaudern, werde ihm Fragen stellen, ja. Yeah, I see it's loading now. Um, what can, can you tell us about the game? Well, essentially what we're, what we're trying to do is, mm -hmm. this is more of a, a spiritual successor to okay. our Lego Marvel superheroes. It was an absolutely amazing game that went down absolutely amazingly and we're really excited to be showing this today. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take all the lessons that we learned from Lego Marvel superheroes, mm -hmm. put it through a sort of Lego Avengers goggles and just basically try and make it bigger, better, more exciting, mm -hmm. 100 new characters that we're putting into this game. We're basically just trying to take everything that we had, all the feedback and everything and just make this a, a not a mm -hmm. Marvel fanboy's dream basically. So. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to take you through some, some of our open world uh, gameplay. Um, okay. So we've got our, the, the main hub to show you and all the, all the relevant quests and things that we can mm -hmm. do. We're going to show you some new characters. We're also going to travel to a, another hub as well. Um, so additional to LEGO Avengers um, as opposed to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, we actually have external hubs as well as Manhattan. So okay. in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes all you had was Manhattan, but in this we actually go further than Manhattan and we actually explore some areas linked uh, to Avengers Assembled and to Avengers Age Ultron. Um, so we're just trying to show that we've we've absolutely packed this game out mm -hmm. for things to do and things to see, ar even around the story levels as well. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so as you just said, it, uh, contrary to Lego Marvel, Lego Marvel superheroes, it's directly based on the movies, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas yeah. Lego Marvel superheroes was um, based on the the what like an original story that yeah. we had written. Um, Lego Marvel Avengers basically takes mm -hmm. place over Age, um, Age of Ultron and Avengers Assembled. Mm -hmm. um, but in between that, we also have three levels that are based on the Phase Two Marvel films. So okay. that would be um, Iron Man three, Thor two, and Captain America two as well. So there are levels that are in there. Okay. Um, and also it just it, it gives us branch we're, we're branching into the, the comics the avengers comics all the way back from the 60s so we have all those characters yeah. yeah as you can see all, all the all the classic camera uh, characters that you can see there we're also delving into some of the tv shows so like agents of shield and stuff we have references to that mm -hmm. um, we have characters that appear from um, hulk agents of smash and things as well so we're really trying to branch out as much as we can within the avengers family mm -hmm. um, but also really keeping it as as fun and interesting as we, we possibly can from all the fun bits from from Lego Marvel Superhero, so hopefully it's a really nice blend. Cool. Um, so, without further ado, I'll change ourselves up to Iron Man. Okay, so this is the Manhattan hub that we're flying around in at the moment. Okay. So it's a, a not only gigantic hub, it goes stretches all the way back to, into, into the distance, which you can see there, all the way back to the Avengers facility, which is located in the south part of the island, um, obviously taken from Age of Ultron. As we're flying around here, it goes all the way back to the financial district, and then beyond that to uh, the Statue of Liberty, Avengers Tower, you can see there also in that background, there'd be things like Sanctum Sanctorum, Aven um, mm -hmm. Pym, Pym Laboratories, where Ant-Man and stuff, um, so we're basically trying to pack it full of absolutely tons of references. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see there that is our that is our mini map. Mm -hmm. Every single dot that you can see on that on that map is essentially a quest. It's a character to unlock. Okay. It's something to see. It's a race to do. A collectible. Yeah. Um, it's something to do in this in this hub. And as you can see, it's absolutely packed full of things to see and things to do. Um, as you can see now, flashing on, on my map, you can see a little shield icon just on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. If I fly towards it, this is actually something that's brand new uh, to LEGO Marvel Avengers and this is one of our dynamic crime events. So as you're flying around the city, you'll basically get a call, um, which will be, you know, you need, you need to help out with someone. So they're so, like randomly generated? A randomly generated crime. Okay. So even after you complete this game, even after you've gone 100% in it, you can come back in and while you're having fun with your characters and doing things, there will mm -hmm. always be new events happening. And So in that case, we were basically helping somebody who was getting attacked, but you might, for example, have to go and stop uh, like a car chase, or you might have to help somebody who's having their purse robbed. Um, so there's all kinds of different things that, that mm -hmm. actually happen. And like I said, we're basically just trying to make it so that the fun essentially never stops. Um, so we've got like a, an entire new roster of characters in the game, like I said, over 100 new characters altogether mm -hmm. um, to, to be added in. But even some of the, the, the well, starting off with some of the characters that are returning, for example, like Iron Man, if I can just bring up 
say for example Captain America. So mm -hmm. we team these two guys up. Now these are two two classic Avengers. What we're going to do is we're going to start a, a little quest here. This is with with Daredevil. Basically, he wants a bit of help dealing with some some goons who are turning up, and he, he wants some help fighting the goons. So mm -hmm. we accept his mission. We're going to get some some goons spawning in. Now we've really gone above and beyond uh, beyond with the animations and things in in Lego Marvel Avengers. Mm -hmm. So. Now you have a special ability that if you team up with a, a fellow Avenger, you can do these really cool team up moves where you actually have a, have a, a like animation that's split between you where you can take on enemies, and that's more of like a splash damage attack where you can take out a couple of enemies at once. Or mm -hmm. if you want to, every character has their own unique finishing animation, a couple of different finishing animations, mm -hmm. and that's done by charging up the bar in the top left hand corner that you can see there. So as you kill enemies, you'll basically fill up that bar as you can see there, and, you can and then you can either yeah, you can either. <clears throat> trigger the event or you can take them on yourself if you want and you can have a, a cool thing and hopefully not die like I've just done there. <laughs> yeah, but I think this more complex uh, fighting system fits with the style of... of uh, yeah, that's, 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 it? that's essentially what it is. Yeah. It's, it's how, how can we take something that we did really well previously but then how can we how can we adapt that into a LEGO Avengers style and obviously mm -hmm. Avengers is all about teaming up, it's all about working together mm -hmm. and so a lot, of the, a lot of the new systems in the game basically rely on doing team up moves so it's not just for example combat, there is actual mechanics in the game where you actually have to have two characters together to for example progress through a level sort mm -hmm. of thing so they have yeah. to team up to work so that's an actual mechanic that helps the player progress themselves. Um, so I'll just show some brand new characters that we're bringing sure. into the game just so we can conscientious to try oh, and save a bit of time. So Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. So like I said, we're not just doing all the all the, the really recent Avengers, we're also doing recent comic book Avengers. So Miss mm -hmm. Marvel, Kamala Khan, she obviously has the powers to be stretchy, she can sort of like flow. She can become tiny if she wants to become small. <laughs> and she can also become giant. And as, so as how long can you stay that giant? What you can stay like that okay. for as long as you want, if that's, if that's what you wanted to. I just wanted to show you through. Okay. So she becomes, um, we have big fig characters which are like Hulk, which are sort of like twice the size of a minifig. Yeah, yeah. Then we have those giant characters like Kamala Khan can become a giant character. And we also have massive characters in the game as well. So we have Fing Fang Foom, he's a really good comic favourite. Um, he's, like he's like a chef who's also a martial artist, who's also a, a crime fighter. But he also has the power to become this giant dragon as well. Wow. So he's he That's can sweet. actually. <laughs> so we have these giant characters that can fly around as well. So not only just can we um, can we have tiny characters, mini fig characters, uh, big fig characters, mega characters. We also have these massive characters as well mm -hmm. in the game that you can actually go around and enjoy. Let's just change them back. So yeah. So like uh, as you can see, it's an entire roster of of, of characters that range. From mm -hmm. Bucky Barnes, Bucky Barnes is his comic book version, um, Butterball, Captain America. We have classics like the Red Skull that are popping in, Thor Girl, and we also even have Jane Foster, Jane Foster Thor. You know, to try one, and yeah. just to try and show that we're actually up up, up to speed and with mm -hmm. with, all, with all the comics. Um, and then e even that, we're actually keeping in speed with the with the TV shows that are actually popping up as well at the moment. So if I go and try and take us to a vehicle calling pad. For example, um, the, the, new, the, new, the new Netflix series, uh, Jessica Jones, yeah. we also have Jessica Jones in the game, um, we have um, Luke Cage, we have Daredevil, so if you wanted to play okay. around as Dare, as play around as Daredevil, so Daredevil he's based can swing on the around. From the TV series. He's, a, he's our comic book variant, um, but it's our way of sort of saying we know he's a very current okay. character. We obviously wouldn't necessarily be allowed to get away with using the you know the, the Netflix version because obviously yeah. it's quite it's quite it's quite a bit more adult. But it's yeah, the same yeah. it's the same with Jessica Jones. It's a very current very um, current character. But what we've done is we've actually gone back and explored her roots. So like if if you know anything about <coughs> Jessica Jones, she used mm -hmm. to be a superhero called Jewel. So we have Jessica Jones in a Jewel variant. Um, and then also like with the TV shows, for example, with with with, with agents of um, agents of Shield, so oh, yeah. um, Agent Coulson, he has a he has a car in particular. Um, I don't know if you you know much about the car. It's called Lola. It's mm -hmm. his pride and joy, um, like a red convertible car. So that's also an unlockable in the game. So if you want, you can kind of have these team ups where you're playing as Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, or you can have these team ups, for example, where you're playing as characters from Agents of Shield. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll spawn in. Uh, Agent Coulson's car. So this is Lola. Um, now it seems in a bit of an unfortunate situation, like unfortunate placement here, because obviously it's like where are we, where are we going to drive? We're just going to drive off into the water. But most of the vehicles in our <laughs> game will have a special ability, which will actually allow us 
to fly the car around or to mm -hmm. do something really cool with, uh, with a special ability with things like that. So again, it's basically all just about giving the player as much freedom as we can mm -hmm. to try and have their own, make their own fun in the world. It's not about it's not about restraining them. It's not about telling them where to go. It's basically giving them a, a huge option of of collectibles, of characters, of races to do in the in, in the hub as well. So we're just basically trying to make it as much fun as player can have in in, in a hub and take what we've learned from uh, Lego Marvel One, increase on it, build on it, try and make it better. And as I mentioned before, we have these. Um, extra hub areas, so I want to take you to one now. Take it, that's what I want to ask next. So Manhattan, you know from uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, is this basically the same or did you change it? No, it's got, it's got, it's, yeah, there are, there are, essentially what we've done is we've changed out quite a few of the buildings in there, so there's a few new locations that have swapped, like, for example, um, we have the Avengers, uh, sorry, the Avengers Tower in the in the game, and then we also have the, the Avengers facility at the bottom. So mm -hmm. quite a few of the locations in the city have actually switched mm -hmm. around. A lot of the buildings are sort of relatively the same geometry, but we've redone the art, we've redone the lighting and everything to make it look nice, to make it play mm -hmm. better. There's a lot of things on the technical side as well, you know, so it technically it all plays better and it all loads in, yeah. in, in better as well. Um, so there's a lot of work that's actually gone into it, even though some of the geometry might be um, the same, for example, because it's the same city, mm -hmm. ultimately. Yeah, sure. um, but the big improvements that we've made is, like they said, n now with the with the fact that we've we've got a better understanding of the technology used in the hub system, we now actually have a spe like a special hub team who works only on the hubs. Okay. So they make sure that the hubs are absolutely everything that they they, they possibly could be. Um, they're the ones who decide what all the quests are going to be. They're the ones who decides how it's all going to play out. Um, and they're responsible essentially for making the hub the best experience can be. Because mm -hmm. we get absolutely tons of feedback from, from Twitter fans and from Facebook fans who basically say, we, we want more hubs, we want more quests, we want more characters, mm -hmm. these are the characters that we want. And we go out of our way, we really do try all the time to make sure that we're, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say pandering, but I think that's the that's the apt term is that we, we kind of go, well, well, you know, yeah, if, if, if there's enough call out for this particular character, some get, there's loads of people going on about Butterball. Let's put Butterball in the game then. Okay. We'll try and do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've expanded We've expanded on the game, for example, by having, the, having a new hub area. So this is the Malibu hub. This is Tony Stark's Malibu okay. hub. So again, this is an, inter an, like an area that you can explore, do quests, do races. Um, and seeing as we're, we're in here, I wanted to show... This all seems like a kind of... Expl uh, uh, kind of... Uh, I'm not searching for it. Uh, it's like this. It's a little bit like it is in Lego Dimensions, isn't it? With all the hub world, with the different hub with worlds. all the hubs that that yeah. that, that can come off it. Uh, yeah, I would. I, I guess you could say that. Um, mm -hmm. Essentially, we were just trying to find the the best way to to encapsulate all the, these extra areas that we could fit into into Lego Marvel Avengers, and we wanted to say where could we go, what, how could we expand on this, and basically the hub team said we have the technology to expand and go to smaller hub areas if, if mm -hmm. that's what you wish to do, and we said yeah, and we said what areas would fit best, so you have a hub areas like, like this for example, which is the Malibu hub from mm -hmm. Iron Man 3, um, we have Washington DC from Winter Soldier, for Captain America 2 Winter Soldier, and um, we have the Asgard hub, so you can actually visit yeah. Thor's um, home world and you can actually fly around this beautifully realized Asgard hub as well and do all quests in there. We have Barton Farm, we have South Africa from the from the Age of Ultron film and mm -hmm. we also have Sokovia so you'll actually go to get to visit Sokovia again and do a whole mm -hmm. load of bunch of new quests. So we have a we have a whole bunch of new hubs as well as Manhattan from the from the first game. Mm -hmm.